Now, it's a story we first broke today. Fox 26 News has learned Houston Rockets star player James Harden has been sued and accused of masterminding a plan to assault and rob the son of an NBA legend. We have more. It was back in June when Moses Malone Jr. found himself jumped outside of V-Live Strip Club in Houston. Four people were arrested for the assault and charged criminally. But Malone Jr. says those arrested were just pawns, and the man who ordered the assault and robbery was none other than Houston Rockets star player James Harden. We spoke to Malone by phone. This was not a random robbery. This wasn't some guy that just came up to me and ran into the street. This was a confrontation about a Facebook post for Mr. James Harden, and the evidence will show that. It was also last year when Malone, the son of NBA legend Moses Malone, wrote on Facebook his father would never charge children for a basketball camp the way James Harden was proposing. Malone says that post so enraged Harden that he ordered the assault and robbery. Malone's attorney, George Farah. James Harden had paid a sum of about $20,000 to Darian Blunt to uh, carry out the attack on Moses Malone Jr. Blunt was an employee here at V-Live before it was shut down last year. In the meantime, Malone says it's time the truth comes out. This is not me pulling something out the sky. I wouldn't go this far if I didn't have something in a firm belief of why and how it happened. And I'm going to let the judicial system and the court system handle it properly with the facts of the case. And you firmly and believe that James Harden is responsible? Yes. Yes. Now, Rusty Harden, who has been facilitating a deposition for James Harden on this case, issued a statement saying he's totally confident the allegations are untrue. He goes on to say this is just another example of people shopping for a deep pocket when they find the people actually responsible have no more money. Now, joining us to explore this issue from uh, SB Nation Radio, 1560 AM, Patrick Creighton. We want to welcome him to the Factor Uncensored and our Fox 26 legal analyst, Carl. Monroe. First of all, Carmen, you've had a chance to examine this lawsuit. Your thoughts so far? First of all, it's light on facts, heavy on innuendo and supposition. And so, you know, the bottom line is, is that they've had a year that they've speculated that James Harden's involved in this somehow. And in this new lawsuit, they provide absolutely no connection whatsoever to James Harden other than suggesting that he's involved. And that's not going to get it in civil court. Now, they don't have to put all their evidence in this petition. But again, they've waited a year to do this. And I think what really is going on is that in Texas, you can sue almost anybody. And almost any time you sue them, they're going to pay out. And it sounds like that the deep pockets are going to be with James Harden and not with the club, which is closed down. And so they're looking for a little bit better payout in this $1 million lawsuit. Now, when you look at the allegations that $20,000 uh, was allegedly paid by Harden to Darian Blunt or to those involved, what do you think he came up with that from? You know, again, no idea, because there's nothing in here that supports that. The allegations are just rank speculation. And so while uh, Mr. Moses has a firm belief, a firm belief is not going to carry the day, even in civil court. But the other thing to keep in mind is that there's four people who've been charged with a criminal offense. Make no mistake, if they're alleging that Mr. Harden was involved in the felony offense of somehow organizing that assault, that's a very, very serious allegation that the DA's office no doubt has looked into. Nothing surfaced there either. And I'd also point out that not one of those individuals has has pled guilty to any of the charges against them at this point a year later. All right, uh, Patrick Creighton from SB Nation. What is the sports and the fan reaction for this when it comes to James Harden and Moses Malone Jr.? You know, I think if you're a fan, if you're talking about, you know, we talk about how big James Harden's name is, but if this isn't Moses Malone Jr., if we're not using that name, are we batting an eye at this story that some kid that is kind of a nobody, is saying, hey, James Harden uh, had these guys beat me up. Well, who are you to James Harden? Why does James Harden care about you? A Facebook post? I'm pretty sure James has been called a lot of worse things by a lot of people with bigger followings than Moses Malone Jr. That being said, you know, Moses has kept a, a pretty consistent story. You know, they were mad at me for the Facebook post. Uh, these four guys beat me up. It's the same four guys. A, I think, considering James's wallet, he could pick four better goons to beat him up than that guy. Uh, but, the, you know, I mentioned the 20,000. 
Can he afford more than $20,000? He drops more than that in a club on a night. No big deal. So right now, until more facts come to light, I would think most fans and the team are all looking at this as, this is kind of a gold digger job here. And, you know, does James want to continue to go through the defense or does he want to be like, okay, look, here's a check, go away. We'll definitely follow this. Patrick Creighton, <laughs> SB Nation, thank you for coming on. Carmen Rowe, our Fox 26 legal analyst.